Hello, today we'll talk about catalog price rule section in Magento 2.0. First of all, it is situated in the top marketing under the promotions. So here you can easily add or manage all sorts of promotions. To start creating your sale, press add new rule. So let's go. First goes rule information where you can configure general options such as rule name, description and so on. Uh, so first goes rule name. Here you should enter the name of your rule and write test um, test but um, you should actually type a name here which will help you to remember what the rule is about because this uh, name will not be displayed in the catalog so next go description as you can, can see it is optional so you can just uh, leave it empty or you can type any information related to the rule uh, also, it is not shown on the front end. Next, go status. Here you should uh, specify whether your catalog price rule is active or inactive. Websites. Select, select website or websites on which the price rule will apply. But we have only our main website. Next, goes customer groups. So define with, with which customer group your rule works. Uh, it can be either retail, retailer or you can choose all the customer groups and your rule will automatically be universal. So next goes from date and to date. These two options specify a period for which the rule will be valid. So here you should choose the starting date and here you should choose the ending date. It's more convenient to do with the help of the calendar. The last tab here is priority. Uh, this field determines which price rule in case you have more than two more than one, I'm so sorry, should be applied first in, in order in which the matching rules should be applied. But the rule with the lower number of priority goes earlier than with the higher number. So if you want it to be with a high pro priority, put one. Okay, next goes conditions. Here you should set the conditions uh, which will uh, help your rule to work. So let's go further. Uh, next stop is actions. Um, here, y as you can see, you have apply discount amount, sub product discount, and uh, discard subsequent. First, apply. This option helps you to select how the discount will apply. So first, go goes apply as percentage of original. This means the discount is calculated at the percentage of the price. For example, if the product costs 50 and we have 10% discount, which we put here in this field, then uh, percent discount, the, the final price with the discount will be $45. Then goes uh, apply as a fixed amount. Uh, this means that you will subtract a fixed amount from your original price. For example, if the product costs $50 and we have 10 uh, as our discount, the price will be $40. Uh, then adjust final price to this percentage. This means that the final price is calculated as the percentage of the original. Uh, for example, if the product costs $50 and we have 10% discount, the final price will be $5. And the last one is adjust final price to discount value. This means that the number you put in the discount amount field is the final price. For example, you set 10 in the field, so your final price now is 10, no matter what your original was. Okay, then a discount amount field. Here you should set your discount. It can be either 10 or 20 or 50, whatever you want. Next, go sub-product discounts. Here you should choose whether pick yes or no. In case you set yes, you should uh, uh, select how the discount will apply for your sub-product and uh, also the discount amount for your sub-product. The last step is uh, discard subsequent rules. If you, have, uh, if you want only this particular rule that you set to apply, so you should choose yes in this field. So now everything is set. Uh, don't forget to press save in order to save all the changes. So thank you for your attention.